A fleet of Canadian-made drones is now on its way to deliver medical supplies and to help rescue teams in Ukraine. Saskatoon-based Dragonfly is sending drones made specifically for medical and search and rescue assistance to a humanitarian group operating on the ground in Ukraine. Cameron Chell is the co-founder and CEO of Dragonfly. He's joining us this morning. Nice to meet you this morning. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Okay, so you're sending two kinds of drones, I understand. One for transporting medical supplies, the other for assisting in search and rescue. As for the medical transport drones, what are the most pressing needs right now? The biggest need, uh, which is a little bit of a surprise to us, but it's insulin, and mm -hmm. uh, in particular for kids. Um, but yeah, insulin, uh, which is a temperature sensitive product, uh, people need it on a consistent basis. They can't get into these besieged areas. Uh, the organization that ordered the drones from us, uh, along with the drones that we're donating, of course, um, uh, will have the ability to get into those besieged areas. They've um, they've had ambulances that they bought and tried to send in, and they either get confiscated or shot or stopped. And so uh, from about five kilometers away, we're going to be dropping uh, this medical equipment, in particular things like insulin, painkillers, antibiotics for infections for people that are hurt is a big deal. Um, and we'll, we'll put it right where they need it. It's really incredible the access that these drones allow for. So who's uh, piloting these drones? Yeah, so RSU, a Revived Soldiers Ukraine, has drones, uh, pilots that they'll be piloting. Uh, we'll do some minor training with them on a virtual basis. Uh, these are experienced drone pilots uh, that will be using it. Uh, we expect the program is going to grow quite rapidly based on um, the, the demand and kind of like the grassroots swelling that's happening. So uh, we may end up um, putting a couple trainers over in, in you know, close to the area to, mm -hmm. to train folks to do it. But, okay, so that was, that's sort of the medical side. When we look at the search and rescue aspect of how these drones can assist, how does that operate yeah so the uh, search and rescue drone is a smaller drone it's a much faster drone and it has uh three key sensors on it it has one sensor which is an optical uh lens which allows you know just to be able to see what's going on around you it has a thermal sensor which will allow you to capture heat signatures so before you send people into a building or into an area you can look for heat signatures to see if they're actually there uh or where best to send uh your uh your search and rescue workers the third sensor it has which is completely a proprietary sensor and technology that that Dragonfly has developed is the ability for our cameras to actually detect vital signs. So our cameras wow. can read heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen level, heart rate variability, and um, and and. And um, so we can detect if the person is, you know, alive or the rate of breathing or if they're in shock or, you know, or we can triage an area of a number of survivors so we know where to send the medical equipment first. It's unbelievable, uh, the capacity of these drones and the help that they are going to provide and supply. I understand you're going to send, Dragonfly is going to spend or send about 200, is that right, 200 drones to Ukraine? Yeah, we're Hoping to get about 200 in the theater uh, by August. Uh, uh, the first three are gone. The, the next 10 are just coming off the line right now, and uh, we'll be going over. Uh, the order is for up to uh, 200, and I think I think uh, as these things get into theater, they're going to make such a difference in the humanitarian effort. They're 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 going to be game changing. That the demand will, will will grow from there. But probably the most heartening thing, the thing that's uh, that's just incredible about this whole thing is that uh, we've had a number of uh, shareholders in particular, but actually just outside folks uh, that have heard of the story and have called up and, and they are literally buying, I mean, these are $20,000 and $30,000 drones right. and they're buying them and, wow. and they're donating them. And, uh, and they're like, well, I was going to give anyway, but you know, this is some way that I can do something completely direct. Mm -hmm. And so we're giving people the opportunity to name the drone. Uh, we'll provide Sorry. them all the mission stats. Uh, and, and, and as long as it's appropriate, we'll, we'll provide the, uh, we'll provide them footage from, from the missions that their drone is flying as well. Cameron, it's incredibly important work. We appreciate your time for laying this out for us this morning. Thank you. Oh, thank you for having me.